Morning, uh, Carl. In contrast to the market's aggressive outlook for rates, uh, the uh, CNBC Fed survey sees things happening later and sees them happening uh, uh, not going quite as far as the market expects. That outlook was bolstered in just the past few minutes by the better than expected jolts report. Just 9% see a March cut in the Fed survey. That rises to even money for May. Only in June is there a majority of 70% looking for that rate hike. While futures, the futures markets may have priced in almost six hikes. Respondents on average see just a bit more than three. The Fed is expected to end quantitative tightening the reduction of its balance sheet, that is, in November. Meanwhile, the probability of a recession remains elevated, but it's fallen to 39%. That's the lowest level since the spring of 2022. Looks like the 25 respondents on average are forecasting the Fed will cut rates every other meeting. You can see that in those little spikes in uh, uh, what you have there in September and December, along with June. Uh, while respondents predict a cautious Fed on balance, they think the Fed should be more aggressive. 56 percent say the bigger risk here is that the Fed cuts rates too late. 44 percent say the risk is going too early. Mike England of Action Economics writing into the survey. The risk is that the slowdown in both growth and inflation proves smaller than assumed and the Fed moves too soon to lower rates. 56% of respondents say stocks are overpriced right now for a soft landing. That's kind of bullish for this usually bearish crowd. But 92% say, hey, if we have a recession, stocks indeed are overpriced. Just a quick note on that JOLTS report, the probability of a March hike declining to 37% with the news that job openings increased more than expected. That's down 10 points. And you'll remember, guys, uh, uh, Sarah, not too long ago between the meetings, the probability that March hike was north of 80%.